I'd like to say, wow. <laughs> Gayla, that was fantastic. It was so touching. And given what our campus is going through and our broader community is going through, I cannot think of a better person with a better message of hope, of courage, a leader with heart and soul to deliver this year's Lecture of a Lifetime. Tremendous. Gail, you touched on your own life, you touched on your family's history, you touched on the importance of leadership in all its aspects of women in leadership positions, and I appreciate that on a personal level. You talked about the importance of community, the importance of relationships, the need for resiliency, the need for inspiration, and the need to be together and to support one another to have a healthy community. All so important messages for all of us. You've had a remarkable career, which is not over yet. And I would like to say on a personal level, I have known Gayla for many years. We're, I'm a few years younger, I'll put that on the table. <laughs> and when I started as an academic here at the University of Calgary, there was this Gayla Rogers, this very accomplished academic, uh, someone who rose to the ranks of being a very seasoned dean with others such as Ann Calvert who is here this evening. And I was this professor kind of working my way up through the system, also without a plan, I will say. Um, and then I became a rookie dean uh, of engineering. Uh, and I was welcomed, in fact, uh, people like Gayla, people like Ann and others took me under their wings and showed me the ropes of what being a dean was all about, how you challenge the provost, that's one of the things that deans do. <laughs> and I certainly went to Gayla for advice on what do you do in various circumstances, how do you handle difficult faculty, and she would give me lots of feedback and lots of strategies. The only problem is translating what you would do in a faculty of social work to a faculty of engineering, it was really challenging. But I will say, Gayla, uh, you have been a mentor to me. You have been a mentor to many others uh, on this campus, as, as Jackie has noted, within your faculty and within the broader community. Uh, you are one of our heroes. And we so much appreciate all that you have given back to us. I think you captured it so well this evening in everything that you do, your passion, your care, your integrity. That's what this university stands for, and that's what you helped build at the University of Calgary, and we saw it in spades tonight. So on behalf of all of us, I want to say thank you. I want to acknowledge all of our special guests, Mayor Nenshi, again, wonderful to have you here this evening with your kind and inspirational words. Again, uh, to uh, the painting that you saw here that was presented to Gala, uh, done by Miss Amanda Crozier, one of our talented students, and uh, Gala, that uh, looks just like you and captures your spirits. And before we close and uh, go into the reception in the Great Hall, I would just like to uh, acknowledge, of course, our Chancellor. And we're getting, uh, as you know, to the end of Jim's term as Chancellor, an outstanding job that he has done. So we are marking some of the last. This is the last lecture of a lifetime that Jim will have the honor to chair. And I want to, on behalf of the university, to thank Jim for everything that he has done leading up to today. And I know that he will do over the next few months. He's been a voice championing the University of Calgary. He has been there for us in the difficult times, in the good times, and has just been a wonderful addition to the University of Calgary. We've adopted Jim to the University of Calgary through his role as Chancellor. And Jim, on behalf of all of us, thank you for everything that you have done and will do for us. Thank you.
So on behalf of all of us, I would like to thank you for coming to this year's lecture of a lifetime to honor Dr. Gayla Rogers. The lecture was recorded by NUTV and will be broadcast shortly on their website so you can watch it over again or send the link to your friends and family and encourage them to, to watch and to listen. There were so many inspirational moments, so many nuggets in your presentation, Gayla, that yes, we should all look at it again. I invite you to stay and celebrate with us and with Gayla and her family for coffee and dessert. And I hope that you will join us for next year's lecture. You'll have to wait and see who will give that lecture. Um, and also from our upcoming convocation ceremonies. So again, thank you for coming this evening and please do stay around, mix and mingle and enjoy and be in this aura, I think, of wonderful inspiration that we heard this evening. Thank you.